How can you establish a daily routine for a puppy that inspires their admiration? A puppy is a creature of habit. He needs a routine. If you leave him to come up with his own, you're not going to like the biting, potty accidents, and bad behaviors that may result from an inconsistent schedule. So if you're ready to learn tips on how to establish the best routine for your puppy, stay tuned. Make sure to watch till the end where we provide you with a daily sample schedule. Before we get into this, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more doggy tips and best practices. Leave a comment down below saying I subscribe and we will try our best to personally respond to your comments. Why do puppies need schedules? When a young puppy comes to a new home, they are trying to understand and adapt to their new environment and family. Having a daily routine makes your puppy's world more predictable so they instinctively relax, more knowing what's coming up next. It's very important to decide on a schedule that makes sense for everyone in the family and introduce it to your puppy from day one. Don't stress if you can't stick to it exactly every single day or have some days that look a bit different. As long as you keep to the schedule as much as possible, you're doing great. Puppies learn and adapt to routines really quickly, so use this to your advantage. Now let's go over some of the most important things to include in your pup's schedule. Schedule potty breaks. Potty training a puppy is something many puppy parents struggle with. However, when you make going potty a regular part of your daily routine, it becomes much easier for your pup. During the daytime, young puppies need to go out frequently for potty breaks. They can typically hold it longer overnight. As a guideline, take your puppy's age in months and divide it in half to determine how long they can hold theirs for. Example, a three-month-old puppy should be taken out to relieve themselves every one and a half hours. This is a great starting point to build into your daily schedule that you can adjust as your puppy grows and can consistently hold it longer. If you are working during the day, consider hiring a dog sitter or having a family member available who can take your pup out for potty breaks to assist with this process. Setting up your puppy's feeding schedule. Are you an early riser or do you work nights and get up later in the day? Whatever the case, match up when your puppy eats to when you get up and eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Young puppies typically eat three times a day, so it's easy to establish this from day one. Serve meals in a durable dog bowl like the Yeti bowl that will not slip or slide across the floor no matter how enthusiastically your puppy eats or drinks from it. By the laws of nature, inconsistent eating times often means inconsistent potty times. Many puppies need to relieve themselves within 30 minutes of eating, while others can go longer. Keeping track of what times and how often your puppy generally needs to go potty will help you see patterns and easily anticipate when they may need to go next. Knowing this information and sticking to the same meal times each day can save you frustrations down the line of dealing with unpredictable potty accidents. Make time for basic obedience. You should make time for some basic obedience lessons on a daily basis. Learning simple things such as sit, stay, and recall are certainly within the grasp of a young puppy and once imprinted will always be with him. Just 5 or 10 minutes a day will yield untold benefits over the lifetime of your new companion and it will build a strong bond between the two of you. One of the best things you can do early on is look into a puppy training course where your puppy can learn basic obedience. We like the Brain Training for Dogs online course. It gives you the opportunity to ask and address puppy behavior questions directly with a professional trainer rather than trying to figure it all out on your own. This can relieve so much pressure knowing that you're in good hands and have help nearby. Schedule Playtime Puppies need time to interact with you and get rid of some of their excess puppy energy and have fun. This is also a good opportunity to train your puppy good play manners such as not nipping hands and feet by engaging them to play with chew toys. Having some scheduled playtime throughout the day also ensures that you are spending quality bonding time together. Schedule naps and bedtime. 
Young puppies sleep a great deal of the time. In fact, some will sleep as much as 16 to 18 hours a day. Plan on quiet nap times for him several times during the day. Family members, especially young children, should learn not to disturb them when he's sleeping. He needs his rest. You may need to put a crate in a quiet part of the house so he won't be distracted by the hustle and bustle that may be going on during nap time. For more crate training tips, you can check out this video where we go over tips to get your pup to love their crate. When it comes to bedtime, some owners set a specific time to settle their puppy down for the night, while others just want them to sleep when they sleep. It's always advisable to set a consistent bedtime to help your pup get used to a routine. If you like what you see so far, subscribe and give us a like. Hit the notification bell so you're notified anytime we upload. Adding variety and socialization with other puppies to your schedule. As important as routine is, animals need a little variety as well. If you never vary your routine, your puppy could become stressed when something inevitably happens to change things. Socialization and introducing some novelty into your puppy's life is important to work on consistently. Let your puppy settle in, but do introduce new people, new environments, and new stimuli to your puppy. They will grow with everything they learn. Taking your puppy to dog parks or pet stores is a great way to introduce him to new people and other pets. It's important to socialize your dog with both humans and other dogs, so do be consistent, but don't be too rigid. Your dog will benefit from the mental stimulation that comes from new experiences. A sample schedule for your puppy. Now that we've covered everything that should go into a schedule, here's a sample schedule we promised earlier. Please modify it to fit your pup. First thing in the morning. Take the puppy out to relieve himself. Make time to play and interact with him after he's taken care of business. Breakfast time. Feed the puppy. Leave the food down for no longer than 15 minutes. After that, pick up the bowl and give no more food until the next meal except for small treats used for training. After puppy's breakfast. Puppies usually need to relieve themselves again within a few minutes of eating, so give another potty opportunity. After this, spend some time playing and or doing a little training with your puppy. Ask your puppy to come, sit and down and reward with a treat. Zoop's natural hip and joint treat is an excellent training treat. They contain eggshell membranes to support joint health and do not come with artificial flavors or colors. You can find them in the description below. Make time for a quick walk to give your pup a chance to do his business one more time. Mid-morning. The rest of the morning might be devoted to nap time, ideally in a crate or pen. Even if you're home during the day, your puppy should spend time in a crate or pen. This will help him learn how to be alone when necessary. It's also impossible to know what a puppy will get into when you turn away for a moment, and there needs to be a place to put him when he can't supervise directly. If he will be home alone for more hours than he can control his bladder or bowels, you need to set up a pen with an area for him to relieve himself, or consider having a pet sitter come to take him out. Noon. A repeat of the early morning routine as soon as he wakes up. A trip outside, then lunch, and another trip outside should follow the meal. Spend some time playing with and training him so he can burn some energy. And don't forget, one more potty break before the afternoon nap. Mid-afternoon. When he wakes up, it's time to go out. Again. And time to play and train. Again. Then a chance to potty. If you're home, he can hang out with you for a while before dinner. Dinner. If you arrange his mealtimes around yours, it will become natural to feed him either while you're preparing dinner or while the household is eating, but pay attention so you can take him outside as soon as he's finished. Before the family sits down to dinner, it's a good idea to give the puppy a chew toy to enjoy in his crate. You'll want to provide different chew toys from time to time so your puppy does not get bored. This way, he won't get underfoot and nobody will be tempted to give him tidbits from the table. Evening Another potty break. The early evening is a good time for lots of interaction. For many puppies, this is the witching hour, and if you anticipate it by initiating play, he may settle down. If he doesn't, even after plenty of exercise, give him a treat and let him settle in the crate for a while. Later, an evening stroll gives him exercise and a chance to take a potty break. Other forms of evening exercise can include playing in the backyard, 
taking your pup to a local park and letting him run free while he socializes with other dogs. The key here is to add variety from time to time. Make sure he potties right before bed. Bedtime. A set bedtime makes his adjustment and house training easier for everyone. It doesn't matter if it's 8 p.m. or midnight as long as it becomes a routine. Take him to his crate and help him settle down. Nighttime. If your puppy is not yet able to make it through the night, set an alarm so you can get up and take him out for a quick, boring potty break. It's better to wake up a little before you think he will so that you're not responding to whining and barking. Then back to bed so you'll be ready for the next wonderful day with your puppy. There are no hard and fast rules around setting up a schedule for your new puppy. Everyone's life is different, so it'll be up to you to work your puppy's requirements into daily family life. It's also important to remember that you can be a little flexible if need be. Dogs are much more pliable than some humans when it comes to routines. In the end, consistency will pay off in a healthier, happier puppy and a happier you. Are you a new puppy owner looking for educational resources? Watch this video to learn common mistakes many new owners make when puppy training for the first time. We go over nine quality tips to make sure that your pup receives the best training possible. If you're new to our channel and you like it, leave us a comment and please subscribe.